Greetings Libra, welcome to your reading for the time period of December 10th to the 31st, 2018. I am using Legacy Tarot Cards. For those of you who are new to my channel and do not know the name of the deck, they're Legacy, okay? For those of you who have been on my channel from the beginning of time, thank you. I appreciate your patience um, for waiting on me to put up new readings because I've been super busy, so I wanted to have the time to do them, okay? Alright, so let's see what's going on with you Libra for this time period. Okay, Libra, so right underneath you have the chariot card here, sign of cancer. Um, you may be dealing with a cancer, but maybe you, if you're traveling, if you're not dealing with a cancer, you're just traveling, period, Some, or you could be, or you're traveling with a cancer, but maybe you have too much luggage, you know, maybe you want to alleviate um, some of the luggage that you're taking with you because something, something is too heavy. So maybe, maybe it is luggage. Maybe it's a backpack. Maybe it's something that you are lifting. Um, but I get a cancer is, so maybe, maybe something that a cancer is lifting. It could be like, like dumbbells. It could be, um, boxes. It could be suitcases, whatever it is, but maybe something that this element is lifting or they have been lifting. Um, it's, I get causing pain. Someone has been lifting something that is causing pain to them. Now, so I had a Capricorn warned. So maybe you're maybe for some reason you're aware that a Capricorn energy <clears throat> either is the Capricorn, maybe that's maybe it's a Capricorn or it's a Cancer, but somebody somebody was warned. So either a Capricorn warned a Cancer or or you warned a Cancer or you warned a Capricorn or whatever the situation is with that, but someone was warned that lifting something about lifting heavy objects can really damage I guess something about like the spinal cord. So like the spinal um spinal cord? Spinal cord? Or yeah, like the spinal cord. Like something is going on. Maybe something maybe something is damaged about somebody's spinal cord, but this they don't know. <clears throat> Somebody doesn't know that. So either it's a cancer or it's a Capricorn. Like those one of those elements are both, I don't know. But it has something to do with lifting something that's too heavy. <clears throat> Or maybe you're lifting something that's too heavy. Something's going on with your spinal cord, or it's one of those elements. But I feel like it's a cancer. So, but I feel that I keep getting the Capricorn awareness. So maybe the Capricorn was making the cancer aware of the fact that of the fact that lifting had something heavy could damage their spinal cord, and maybe something about needing surgery now. So maybe <clears throat> somebody's finding out. <clears throat> that they need surgery out of nowhere. Um, but there's a I do. So maybe you need surgery for some reason or it's a cancer or it's a Capricorn that is enlightening you on something that you need that you didn't know you needed or there a Capricorn is enlightening a cancer on the fact that lifting something heavy could potentially cause them to have spinal cord damage and needing surgery, whatever the situation is with that. And that's maybe that's what you're traveling for or it's an actual cancer <clears throat> that you're traveling to or you're traveling period to someone to tell them something. Ace of Cups energy here, <clears throat> but as I want to find, so it's water sign energy. Maybe you want to find a Cancerian or some, I get Pisces. Maybe you want to find a Pisces, but I can't find. So maybe the eight parent, maybe you're trying to find your parent, you know, with the Ace of Cups. Maybe you want to invite your parent somewhere, <clears throat> your water sign parent. Maybe you want to invite your parent somewhere, but maybe you're not hearing from them. But if she's, maybe your parent is hurt as a female parent. Maybe your mom is hurt for some reason. Maybe she's crying. <clears throat> Maybe your mom is crying, but there's a need to find out why. Maybe your dad hurt your mom. There's this element of a dad hurting mom. And maybe that's why there's something that you hear. So maybe you hear your mom crying on the phone or maybe you heard or some maybe a cancer, maybe a cancer related to you that your mother was crying on the phone or your, or your mother is a cancer. It just depends. Or your mother is relaying something to you about <clears throat> about a Capricorn or whatever it is. Somebody is getting relayed information about someone and it's, and it's making them cry, whatever the situation is here. But it's a, why does she or he need surgery? So you don't understand. Like, I keep getting parents. So maybe 
if it's not anything to do with spinal cord and the cancer with something spinal cord damage lifted something heavy, then maybe it's a parent. You know, maybe you find out a parent needs to get surgery out of nowhere. And maybe that's where the shock is coming from with the Ace of Cups energy here. Or it's a new relationship. Maybe we're trying to do something with someone, period. And you're, not, you're not hearing from them. And it could be that cancer. But, but it has something to do with you finding out that someone needs surgery. So either you do or it's a parent or is that cancerian energy could be a parent or a friend. You know, or maybe Capricorn is telling you about that, and maybe maybe that's why somebody has been ghost. You know, literally ghost. Like you can't, you're not hearing from somebody with the Ace of Cups. But so why would he lift that? So when I said not hearing from with the Ace of Cups, why would he lift that? Why would he lift <clears throat> those things? You know, dumbbell, means dumbbells. You know, maybe something. You know, maybe they were lift. Somebody was lifting something that was too heavy. Ace of, Ace of Cups energy. You have the star, sign of Aquarius that you're waiting on here. But there's a needing help. Maybe you need a help. Maybe you need help from an Aquarian energy for some reason. But I know. Maybe you know this element. Like you know. And it lives with Capricorn. This element lives with the Capricorn energy. And oh, I see what's going on. This element, if it's an Aquarian Maybe you're finding out that they live. I get you've known something for a long period of time. That's one thing about the fact that a Capricorn lives with an Aquarian energy. But if she knows, maybe as a she, it could be a she, a, she, a female Aquarian, or <clears throat> the she knows, and in, in a sense, maybe it's a Capricorn. You know, maybe it's a Capricorn knows that you're aware of the fact that the Capricorn knows that you know an Aquarian that they live with or that they're friends with or whatever it is. But is it trying to help? Like, is it try maybe you need the Ace of Cups energy could be maybe you need an Aquarian energy's help. But I get to get the Capricorn out of something or you need their help to get the Capricorn, something to pertain to the Capricorn energy or the Cancer. You need the Aquarian energy's help for for some reason. But then maybe they're not helping you know, this element that you're waiting on. Maybe they're not helping the Ace of Cups with the with the Star card. That they they don't want to do something that you want them to do. <clears throat> There's that element also. They don't want. I get scheme. Maybe you're trying to get this element to scheme someone. You know, there's that feeling also. Like maybe I get and the cancer. So maybe you're trying to get. Maybe that's why you're not hearing from a cancer because they have some type of injury. But you actually needed a cancer and an Aquarian energy to get a, to help a Capricorn with something or to scheme a Capricorn or to scheme somebody, whatever it is, with the Star card energy being here. But is it, how does she know this? So maybe you're discussing how an Aquarian, <clears throat> how a Capricorn energy. You're, you're discussing with an Aquarian how a Capricorn energy knows something, you know? But as I like, maybe you actually do like the Capricorn, but the Aquarian, like I pretend, maybe an Aquarian energy is pretending to like the Capricorn or pretending to like you, or pretending to like you. So it just depends on the energy. So you could be connecting with a Cancer, excuse me, my throat. <clears> throat> You could be connecting with a Cancer to find out where an Aquarian is to, to get more information on the Capricorn, to get more information on the Capricorn, but something's going on with the Cancer. <clears throat> or you're trying to connect with an Aquarian to do something to help the Capricorn or to get rid of the Capricorn, whatever it is, <clears throat> with the star energy. But you're also intrigued by someone. So maybe you're intrigued by an Aquarian, but you're also intrigued by the Capricorn. So those are two elements. You're actually intrigued by them. But you kind of see those two elements as I get, as uh, as uh, holders of information for someone that you actually want to get. You actually you're intrigued by, and you're trying to find out more. You know where does she live, or you know what does she do during the day? It's all these questions. But what, what is it? Why are you so obsessed with? There's this element of. <coughs> excuse me. There's this element of why are you so I get Capricorn female? Why are you so obsessed? With a Capricorn female, so the Capricorn female may be may be embodying this Aquarian element as a star. Maybe they are a star, but you're obsessed by it. you're obsessed with this element. If it's not an Aquarian, or you need an Aquarian to get more information on the Capricorn, just depends with the Ace of Cups and the Star card. The cancer is you know something is faulty with the Cancer, so maybe that's why you're going to an Aquarian. Maybe that's why you're going to an Aquarian, but they're not even friends. So maybe you think uh maybe you think a Cancer and an Aquarian are not friends. Or you think a Capricorn and Aquarian are not friends, or a Cancer are not friends, whatever the situation is. But whatever it is, you're just trying to get more information on on someone for some reason. You're trying to scheme. Scheming doesn't have to be bad. Scheming is like, scheming is like using people's friends. Like this is like using like maybe you're really interested in a celebrity, but 
or you have some type of, if you're interested in someone that paints really well, draws really well, sings or dances really well, but you're trying to find people, like random people that are connected to them to get to know them. <laughs> like you're asking them questions. Like this is like being intrigued by a celebrity. You want to know more about someone that you don't even know or you don't know well, but you're aware that there's people around that person. Maybe you're, maybe some, maybe you're uncomfortable with approaching somebody. There's that element too. So you're using fam their family members and friends to get to them or to learn more about them, period, with the star energy. Your present has the four swords here. They get depression. Maybe you're depressed about something, maybe lonely. Maybe you're a little lonely for some reason. Maybe you're lonely. I get dates. Maybe you don't have, maybe something's going on with a date maybe with an Aquarian. So something is depressing about some type of date that you're trying to formulate with an Aquarian energy. And maybe that's why, maybe the Aquarian is the one that you're not hearing from. If it's not a cancer that you're trying to get information from about a Capricorn energy. Some, but the date, the date, I get the date has something to do with the Capricorn. The date has something to do with the Capricorn energy with the four swords. Hmm, but is it all this how to get her either in or out of something or all these questions of the how to get you're trying to figure out a way you're discussing this with an Aquarian how to get scheme I keep getting scheming like you're discussing some type of scheme on someone per pertaining to a Capricorn or pertaining to the Aquarian energy you're discussing I feel like you're more so you're in cahoots with an Aquarian energy the cancer is something is out something is like really Something is distant about a Cancerian energy. Maybe they just comply. Maybe they're not complying with something that you want to do. Hey, on purpose. The Cancer is not complying with something that you're trying to do with an Aquarian on purpose. Or something that you're trying to do with a Cancer. Cancer separately from anything going on with the Aquarius. They're pretty much, they're pretty much, they're doing that on purpose to you. Maybe you don't understand. Maybe that's what, maybe that's why, but the, the bribe, something, some type of bribe is not good enough. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what an Aquarian is saying. Some type of bribe that you're trying to give them is not good enough. You know what I mean? Maybe money, maybe it's money and food and and whatever it is for a swords. Maybe this is what. Maybe this is something that maybe this maybe there's a bribe to go out with or bribe to meet with. There's a, maybe they don't like you. Maybe there's this element where this maybe you think that this element does not like you. But it's a, why does she leave so quickly? Maybe somebody leaves really quickly. And there's a trying to hold attention. Why does he or she leave really quickly from somewhere? Maybe that's what, maybe that's why, oh, maybe that's what's making you depressed. But I really, there's a, you really like them or you really like her as an Aquarian or as a Capricorn. You really like him or her, but they keep leaving somewhere really quickly. So maybe it's a workplace. Maybe this is a work, maybe it's a coworker. Maybe it's someone you go to school with. Maybe it's somebody that you, whatever it is, they leave really quickly. They leave, maybe that's what's, that, maybe that's what's making you depressed. That's what's making you depressed. That somebody's leaving really quickly from somewhere. I guess so they won't have to sit and talk to you or so that, so that you won't have to sit and talk to them. Like somebody is really fast. Like they're just going off really fast for swords. Mm. But it's a why am I obsessed with her or him? Why you're actually questioning, you know, why am I obsessed with him or her? Maybe somebody's really beautiful, like somebody's pretty. But I get black women. So maybe someone is really pretty about a black woman. Maybe that's what an Aquarian is saying to you. Like maybe maybe that's why. Oh, I see what's going on. But I get disgust with that also. Maybe maybe sometimes maybe you're observing the me an Aquarian like likes a Capricorn or an Aquarian likes a Cancer, whatever it is. Like some water sign. Maybe you're on the outside looking into an Aquarian likes that element, but you don't you don't want the Aquarian to like a Capricorn for some reason. Maybe you don't want that element to like someone, or you like some. Maybe you're maybe you're a man or a woman, whatever it is. But people people don't understand why you're attracted to black women. People don't understand why. You, if you're a dude, or you, you could be a woman also, somebody doesn't understand why you are have some type of attraction to a black woman. Or you don't understand why an Aquarian has an attraction to a black woman. You know, or maybe you are a black woman that is, I, maybe you're, I get multiple women. Maybe you're a black woman that likes multiple women, or you like the Air Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius, female or male, or a Capricorn is showing up like a Capricorn. You like that element. Hmm... Something's interesting about this <laughs> with the forest swords. Something that's really it, there's, there's this element of like you don't maybe you undercover you don't like someone, but at the same time you're obsessed with them, but you can't be with them. It's something that's strange about it. So something that's strange about it in the sense where maybe you are an older person, maybe you're an older person. Maybe you, for example, maybe you're an older, maybe you're an older white female, or you're just a white female. Period. But I I keep getting obsession with black women. So maybe if you're a black woman, you're obsessed with a black woman. <laughs> if you're a white woman, like older, younger, whatever it is, age group, whatever, you're obsessed with a black woman, <laughs> whatever it is. And it's something that is strange about it. I, maybe your husband thinks that that's something that's weird. Oh, maybe you're. Oh, I see what's going on. Mm. 
Very interesting. So there's some type of where, maybe that's why the Four of Swords energy is here. Something that you do at home. So maybe I get a video. Maybe you're, oh. <laughs> maybe you have a video of some I get that, of someone that you're obsessed with. Maybe you have a video of someone that you're obsessed with or this element does or this is the element that you have a video of. Maybe you have a, a video, or maybe you have a video or a picture of them, but to keep looking at, maybe you keep, maybe there's some type of obsessive, that's maybe that's where the loneliness with you and the mental, like, maybe something's going on. Maybe you have a picture of this element, or you have a picture or a, um, a video of this element, but you just can't stop watching. Like, you can't, either you're laughing at the video, or you're, but there's, a, there's a, some, it's something that's sexual about that. Something that's sexual about the fact that you're some type of video that you're there's an attraction like you you're watching a video of somebody like a, a person that you work with somehow you have a video or a picture of somebody you work with <laughs> or you go to school with like something strange like maybe you there's a sexual attraction to I get there's a sexual attraction to a Capricorn female <laughs> like in that you go to school with, that you work with maybe that's why you're acting the Aquarian maybe the Aquarian lives with the Capricorn or they, they're friends with them maybe that's your obsessively some the Aquarian thinks that you're something strange about you because you because you you're asking them all these crazy questions about them or a Capricorn energy this energy if it's an Aquarian they're not using intuition that you're ups they're not using their intuition with you that you're up that someone's going on with being a lesbian <clears throat> there somebody's not using their intuition that you're a lesbian <laughs> or it's an Aquarian an Aquarian is starting to catch on an Aquarian is starting to catch on to the fact that maybe you're a lesbian because maybe you are asking questions about a female that they have information on or a guy that they have information on mm, wow for swords energy maybe that's where the depressive energy is coming from but you're trying to get someone to stay somewhere. So you're trying to get someone to stay somewhere longer. But whatever it is, they keep leaving. So this could be a situation here. Maybe maybe you are a female and that's into women. And maybe there's a situation in the workplace where there's a really hot co-worker. There's a really hot co-worker somewhere that maybe they leave really quickly. Like maybe they leave at, a, at on point. <laughs> maybe they leave on time all the time. And maybe you're trying to hold them. <laughs> you know, maybe there's this element of trying to get you the Aquarius. You're trying to get the Aquarius to hold somebody. Like you're trying to get some, you're using an Aquarius or or is an Aquarian or is a Capricorn with Aquarius in their chart or they're showing up like an Aquarian. But that that's the element that you want to stick around. But you're using an Aquarian to do that. Or to find information, but you're trying to get them to stick around longer. It's, it's something that's really obsessed about that, though. Your future has the world sign of Capricorn, but it's a trying to get to. So maybe you're, something that's coming out here, something that's embarrassing about something coming out here, but feelings towards someone, your feelings towards someone is coming out, and that's why it's the world. But there's a hide. So maybe there's this feeling, there's embarrassment. Maybe there's a feeling where this is what the four of swords in the world is there be, between these two elements. But your feelings towards someone is coming out with the world energy. Mm. But is it, why does she talk like that? So maybe, or why does she say those things? Or why does he or she talk like that? But I keep getting obsession. So maybe, okay, I see what's going on. Something is going on where, like, something is obsessive about something that's happening here, obviously. Something is going on with, um, maybe something, something, I get critical. Something, something is critical either about something that Capricorn energy is saying or something is critical, something is critical surrounding this for some reason. Something is critical, I get lonely, something is critical about your loneliness, Something is critical here about somebody's loneliness. So maybe it's the parent from the beginning or it's a friend. Something is critical. And maybe maybe the fact that it's critical and maybe that's why it's embarrassing. Maybe something that, something, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's happening here. So maybe it has something to do, it has something to do with your, it has something to do with the obsession. That's one reason why it's critical, but it's very, it's, it's almost like there's like a crop. Maybe you're crossing boundaries with this element. There's that element also, maybe you're, but it's something is, it's really critical. So either it's loneliness that's really critical. And the fact that it's, it's the fact that some type of loneliness is really, is critical. the fact that some type of loneliness is critical. I think it's becoming profound or it's becoming out there to, to, to someone. But it's sharing, maybe it's becoming out there to someone and they're just sharing it. I mean, that's where the embarrassment is coming from. Mm. But you want to know how someone knows some type of information also with the world element here. But it's scary. Something is scary about this element of Capricorn. Something is scary about them. But it's the fact that they know everything. Some, something is scary about the fact that this element knows everything. 
Mm, something scary about it. The Aquarian knows. Maybe an Aquarian. That's why you're hooking up with the Aquarian. Maybe they know a lot of information on the Cap. They know a lot of information on the Capricorn. It's, but something's creepy or, or about the Capricorn. Maybe that's why you're obsessed with them. But it's a, how is she doing it? So maybe you're conversing with an Aquarian about how a Capricorn energy is doing something. And maybe that's what. Maybe something is critical about that. But when I say critical about that, again, it has something to do with your loneliness. So something that you're doing, like it's either some type of focus that you have on somebody. <laughs> and maybe someone doesn't understand why you have some type of focus on someone. But it's it's be, something about it. It's, it has something to do. It has some, I, get, I, get all, I also get it has something to do with an estranged relative. And it has something to do. It has something to do with being really obsessed with someone or or it has something to do with your loneliness. So it could be in a strange relative. I get you're trying. It could be in a strange relative that you're trying to connect with, or a friend, or just a person you're being really nosy into. I get nosy when I look at the star card. It just depends. Or they are nosy. Maybe maybe they're trying to get information out of you about someone. But I don't feel that. I feel like you're trying to get information out of them, and you're not hearing from them. It just depends. Oh Lord, your instincts has the ten of wands energy here. Ten of wands. Ten of wands. But I get something about the back. So something is a burden. Maybe somebody's something. You're using instincts that something is a burden, like a like something. You're, it's metaphoric. It's like something is back. Either you literally have back pain, or this this situation is is like back pain to you. It just depends with the ten of wands. It's in your instincts. So you, you're thinking that something something that you're trying to do with water sign and aquarium is is difficult because they're not complying. Because they think you're, I guess something about being being an obsessive freak. <laughs> like maybe they're saying that. Like maybe they're saying that behind the scenes, and that's why the Ten of Wands energy is here. Mm. But maybe a Leo knows. There's this element that maybe a Leo knows something. Maybe you want to go to a Leo, but something's also burden like about a Leo. Mm. They're also a coworker or a friend or someone that has information on on someone. But there's this element here where they may not have as much. It's they they may not have as much information as a Cancer and and the Aquarian do. A Cancerian female has been trying to talk to someone, but maybe, maybe still that's not enough information for, I could gather, that's not still, that's not, not enough information that you need to gather on someone, but I get to get them arrested, uh, to get them arrested. So maybe something's going on with you trying to gather information from an Aquarian, a Cancer, a Leo, uh, I get Capricorn, uh, to get a Capricorn arrested, or you're trying to gather information, period, on how to get somebody arrested. There's that element too, or you're just obsessed with them, period. But yeah, I, when I said just obsessed with them, period, I get, yeah, just obsessed with them. You're just, up, or, or, it is, or, or there is an element here where you're also, you're also obsessing with people, to hooking up people to ask them random questions so you get them arrested. There's that element too. Mm. But I get more so the first one that I said. <laughs> more so the first one. Like, maybe you're really, you're really obsessed with them, period. It's, something's crazy about that. Your accomplishment has a king of coins, Taurus-like element, or it's a Capricorn. Maybe a Taurus could help, but is it ask her, ask him or her to invite them over, whatever it is, King of Coins, uh, they showing up like a Taurus, you know, it, it is a Taurus, could be a man or a woman, or sorry, a man or a woman, hmm, maybe you're needing help from this element, Ace of Cups, with, right, Ace of Cups, right, something is better about this King of C Coins energy, so it could be the Capricorn, maybe there's something that's going on, but I feel like it's more so, maybe you're going to a Taurus now, but if she didn't do anything yet, when I said Taurus, this she did not do something yet. So maybe it's an invitation that you're trying to get a Taurus. I invite the Capricorn. You're trying to get a Taurus to invite a Capricorn out somewhere. There's a maybe that might work. So maybe maybe that might work. You know, you sometimes something's going on with you being really obsessed. You're really obsessed with a coworker, or you're really like, why don't you just ask them yourself? <laughs> that maybe you're really you're really upset with a family member or an estranged family member. You're really or as a coworker or a classmate, whatever this affiliation is. You're you're really going hard to get somebody out or in, or you, you're really nosy about them for for some reason, or you just like them because there's something a celebrity like about somebody. Hmm. But when I said celebrity like about somebody, I get I want him or her closer. <laughs> like you want. Someone closer to you, and it's something that's creepily obsessive about it, and and it's mental and, and sexual, and it's tied to loneliness, and it's something that's strange. Like King of Coins, something is strange about it to someone. But I get all these elements. Something is strange about something that you're trying to do to all the all these elements that you're trying to hook up and connect with to get to somebody. Like somebody, this all something is really strange about that, or maybe the fact that somebody's trying to do this to you is, is something that's strange. Something is strange about it. Hmm. But something that's really serious about a Taurus helping. So maybe you're going to break down and ask a Taurus 
because a Leo doesn't have enough information for you. A Cancer doesn't have a Cancer is scared of somebody intuitively, but they also don't have enough information for you. An Aquarian, an Aquarian has I had a good amount of Aquarian, an Aquarian has a good amount of information on something or somebody. Mm. But maybe they, maybe they want maybe they're annoying. Maybe they're becoming annoying for some reason with some type of bribe or whatever it is. Your spiritual self has the um, eight of coins energy. You're working hard. It's right next to the star element. But I get to get, I don't to get, something's going on to get to them. <laughs> You're working really hard to get to them. Yeah, obviously, but you, it's earth sign energy. You're working really hard with the earth sign elements. Are you just working hard, period? Mm, but she's better than me. So maybe it's right next to the star card. So something, the she is better than me. Are this Capricorn or Aquarius? It could be an Aquarian female or male. She is better than me. Maybe maybe you're trying to maybe this is an element where maybe you're trying to triumph over someone that's better than you somewhere. But she is younger than me. So maybe you're trying to triumph triumph over someone that's better than you somewhere, but the, that el something about that element is younger than you. Mm. There's a why is she better than me? You don't understand why someone is better. Maybe somebody's life path. <laughs> you don't understand why someone is better. Oh, I see what's going on. Back to that black female and white. Maybe something's going on. Maybe there's something that's going on with life experiences. Maybe you could be a black female. You're comparing yourself to another black or white female. Just depends. Or male. Maybe it's a black female, a white female, white male. Whatever it is. Whatever the sex of the person or race of the person is. But but you don't, it's some type of drastic view like that. You don't understand why someone... This is how our Aquarian doesn't. You don't understand why somebody... like This is like... Somebody is really like close-minded here also with with... Like, somebody doing really well in life. Maybe you think, like, for example, maybe you're a white person. Maybe you're a white person, but there's a black person. Maybe they're like, something about, maybe something about their life path is better than yours. There's that element. And maybe that's what you're questioning. Or maybe that's what you don't understand. And maybe that's why you want to learn about someone. But I said, when I said, maybe that's why you want to learn about someone, I get a rough upbringing. Like, maybe this, somebody had a rough, maybe you did. Or this element did. If it's an Aquarian or a Capricorn, maybe somebody had a rough upbringing. But hey, that's why they're that way. So maybe, maybe that's why that's what a questioning is coming from. Maybe you're that's why you're learning about somebody, or someone's trying to learn about you, or you, or you're learning. Maybe that's why someone is the way they are. You know, because something was strict or rough about either rough or strict about somebody's background. So either it's a Taurus or it's a Capricorn or an Aquarian. The Aquarian is giving you the answers. The Aquarian is having random conversations to learn more about someone, and they're relaying that information to you. They're relaying that information to you. And that's why she's that way. Somebody had a rough, somebody went through some rough things. Maybe you went through some rough things. Hmm. But there's a not as much as her or she didn't go through as much as me. So this, this has something to do with somebody's placement in life or the fact that they're black, that they're white. But it has something to do with, this, with some type of rough upbringing. Maybe you're making those kind of comparisons going on there in your mind. <laughs> you know, maybe you're making those kind of comparisons. Maybe that's why you want to be closer to someone, but it's something that's obsessive about, about it. Your mentality has the moon card, sign of Pisces. Maybe a new prospect. Maybe maybe something the moon is um maybe you're trying to use your into maybe something's going on with you with your intuition. But it's a needing to use it. <laughs> maybe you need to use your intuition. I get mystical. Maybe you need to use your intuition about some type of mysticality that is I that an Aquarian is doing or that an Aquarian is relaying to you with the moon energy. But the she when I said uh, when I said Aquarian relaying to you with the moon energy, I get she is she knows a lot or sh she is very whatever it is. Maybe somebody's really in tune about you uh, about uh, yeah. Somebody's really in tune about you, but maybe you're not using your maybe something's going on with you. You need to use your intuition that maybe somebody is really in I get about your motives or whatever it is. Somebody's really in tune. Maybe it's a Pisces that's really in tune. I feel like this is your intuition. I feel like it's your intuition mainly that, or you're using your intuition about this. Somebody is really in tune. That's why the scary energy is there with the moon. That's why the world is here in the future. Mm. Maybe this is it. Maybe you're, maybe you're doing and saying, I with the Taurus. Maybe you're doing and saying really cryptic thing around a, Cap around a Capricorn element somewhere. Somewhere with a Taurus, or it's a Taurus that's doing that. I don't know, or it's about a Taurus, but I don't feel that. I feel like you're doing that with a Taurus, but there's this element of there's a why, a why are we doing this? So maybe you're doing something really cryptic with a Taurus, with an Aquarian, Cancer, Leo. But when I said all those signs, I get they think you need help. <laughs> all those elements I just named, they, they think that you need help. They think you need help. Mm, or you think they or you think somebody needs help whatever it is but they don't understand there's this element here where you're you're doing cryptic things with them 
And but you're not using your intuition that the Cap I, the Capricorn is mystical. <laughs> like and they know and that somebody's aware of what you're trying to do. You're trying to cook up with them. <laughs> you have some obsessive feeling with them. <laughs> Whatever it is. It's something that's become when I said it, something is becoming it's becoming obvious. <laughs> something is becoming obvious about something that you're doing with a Taurus, with an Aquarian, with a Leo, Cancer. Something's becoming obvious about it. Eight of Wands energy for what's changing for you. But the, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe you're not going anywhere. That's why I say you're not going in Leo. It could be a Leo, you know. But I get not going anywhere until she something. Like, you're not going to go uh, says or says or talks. I get do it. You're not going to go anywhere until someone does something with the Eight of Wands. Mm. Maybe it's something that you want someone to say. Mm. Maybe it's something, I, this is something strange about this. You want someone, something's going on, like, um, what do you call that? Like, this is like, this is a, some type of strange, okay, I see what's going on. You, you're in a, this is some type of situation, it's strange about it. There's a situation here, maybe, maybe you feel like something's going on like, mentally with this. It's not bad, but something's going on, maybe you want, there's like this feeling here where you want, or somebody wants you out to like, really like, get down on their hands and knees to, to beg for something like you want someone to do that but oh i see but maybe then maybe they don't maybe that's not something maybe they don't have to do that there's that element also maybe you want someone to beg on their hands and knees for something or vice versa but somebody's not going to do that but it has something to do with some type of racial issue like something is something is crazy about that with the four swords element being here hmm you want someone to be at your mercy for some reason. like you, so, But something is like dominating. Something is going on psychologically with trying to dominate over some. That's why I said life path and, and being better than. And, but you want someone to like want something from you, but they don't. Like This is like this is like like a black person like is is or a white whatever it is this is like a somebody that you this is like someone maybe somebody's poor <laughs> maybe someone doesn't have any money but maybe you want someone to beg for something that you have but they, they don't need to do that or you you think maybe they intuitively maybe you feel like they should or you want them to mm, something's weird about that something is really like like this is like supremacy. <laughs> I don't know, like some type of like when he's white supremacy. I don't know, but something something about that is is mental. I don't know. It's it's strange. Like, it, but it's going on in a workplace. But it has something. Maybe you're being privileged. Maybe you're being privileged, and you want. Some, you're becoming really obsessed with a coworker that's maybe not as privileged as you, <laughs> or but but they're okay. Like someone is okay, but you want them to beg on their hands and knees for something, or they want you to beg on your hands and knees for something, or it's information. Hmm. Wow, strange. Your resolution <clears throat> your resolution has the death card, sign of Scorpio. Maybe you need help from a Scorpio, but not around. Maybe a Scorpio is not around. But the fact that the, all these major arcanas, the fact that the death card is in the resolution in the world card, okay, something is coming out. Something is coming out. Hey, embarrassing. Something is coming out that is embarrassing to you. It's embarrassing. And it has something to do with some type of feeling that you have, some type of weird, like, supremacist like mindset that you have <laughs> or it's like um what do you call it uh supremacy or whatever some type of mental like some type of obsession is in the sexual it's strange <laughs> it's it's strange and it's obsessive I mean that's what's coming out and it's what the Capricorn energy is bringing out that you that these thoughts that you feel about them and using people to get to them and but it's the way you're doing it it's the way you're doing it so I see this is like this is like a classmate. Maybe you're using somebody's class. I get to point out their flaws. You're using somebody's co other co-workers. That somebody that you're obsessed with. Maybe you maybe you think maybe you see them as maybe you think that they're better than people or whatever it is, or black, white, whatever it is, or there are they are black, they are white, or the same race as you, whatever it is. But maybe you think they, they pr prance around like they're better than someone. Maybe there's that there's that element also. So what you're trying to do is maybe you're trying to get other co-workers to, to point out some type of flaws. You're trying to indirectly point out flaw at a Capricorn. You're trying to indirectly point out flaws that a Capricorn has. By using other people around them in a classroom, in a workplace, whatever it is. Mm, you're trying to point out those flaws or maybe somebody's doing this to you. And then there's this element of where you really want someone to be on their hands and knees to, for something. Maybe it's a Leo. Maybe it's a fire sign element. You know? That you really need them. You want them, whatever it is. Maybe they're obsessed with someone. But when I say they're obsessed with someone, I get all of them are. Some There's multiple people that are, are obsessed with this energy. 
I mean, that's why you're going to them like that. But but you don't want, you're not going to leave until you ate what you want. You're not going to leave until you get what you want out of that person or until you get whatever it is you're trying to do. Scheme them, try to get them arrested or whatever, some strange obsession that you have with someone or someone has with you. All right. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see what the outcome is. Libra. Oh, there you go. Eight of Pentacles. Again, I already have the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, you you got double working hard. You're, you're double working hard here. But let's see another one since you already have that. Damn. Four Swords again. Jesus Christ. You, you're getting double of what you already have. <laughs> You're getting double of it. It's, it's a serious issue. <laughs> it's a serious issue here. Let me see the four of swords energy. The strength card, sign of Leo. So you're working hard with, to get a Leo to do something. I get to find out more. You're working hard to get a Leo-like element to find out more of somebody. That's why the ten of wands is in the instincts. And the eight of wands is what's changing. You're not going to let a Leo leave until he get until he or she whatever gives you what you need and pertaining to a Capricorn or gives you what you gives you what you need period. I mean, something is going on with a Leo period. Something is burden like with a Leo. Maybe it's money. But that's what they're asking for. Maybe a Leo, maybe you're trying to get a Leo to do something but they're asking for money and either it's pertaining to this star energy. Hmm. Information, obsessiveness, whatever it is. Maybe you're trying to get a Leo to invite, Taurus to invite. Hmm. Those elements may have been invited to something. Maybe the earth sign energy wasn't. Hmm. But something is strange about that. So maybe, oh, I can't, I see what's going on. Maybe those elements were invited to something. Maybe the Capricorn or, or the Aquarius. Somebody wasn't or or you want them to be invited to something or whatever it is. That's why I said begging. You want someone to beg for an invitation to something? But when I said beg for an invitation to something, I get, something is psychological about you doing that. <laughs> something is mental about you. Something is going on with that, with you mentally. Mm. That's what a Leo is saying. Maybe that's what a Leo is saying about you. Wow, some type of tactic, mental mind controlling tactic that that you like to do with on people for whatever reason. That something is like like I don't know. Something is strange about it. All right, let me know how it resonates. Be well. Take care. Bye.